The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the December 7th, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right, when you and I make that one little two by four ship well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is gonna toss at us. Now today, you and I are gonna go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on it at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there too. Go ahead, send me an email. Send it off to steve at tfnn.com. And inside that subject heading, please put radio show question in in our Tigers. Then, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, we got all the U.S. indices trading higher. The Dow's at 503, about 1.5%. S&P 97, a little over 2%. 3% for the NASDAQ 100, 475 there. Russell's up about 3% or 63 points. Semi's up 5%, 193. They have broken out of a consolidation. That is suggesting higher price. you got gold up about 5 bucks. Silver, 27 cents. Lights we crude, $3. Trade out at 72.54. Lead the charge dollar-wise, the episode. It's in the zone. It's in the auto zone. Up 100 18 bucks, a little over 6%. Amazon, 110, 3%. Shopify, 7%, 95 bucks. Chipotle, 88. Google, 77. To the downside, the Shakers, it's Charter Communications off 23 bucks, 3.5%. Aerovironment, mm, having a stinker of a day, down 29%, 22 bucks. Health Equity, not too healthy, off another 22%. That's 12 bucks there, too. GitLab, down 11%. Nearly 10, Patrick Industries down 10%, or eight buckaroonies. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at. No requests so far, so let's go take a look at the general markets out here. To begin with, the question should be, I heard somebody ask it already. Hey, Stevie, where are prices headed to? Excellent question, and we've got the answers for you. The answers are going to be the top of the profiles in these equity future contracts. Now, the ES Mini, its profile is solid. 47.17 is likely its target. Will price turn from there? It may. We'll have to take a look at the short-term time frames as price gets up to that level. The NQ, brand new profile, will not have confirmation of it, but I just did refresh it, and it's still uh, coming up with the same numbers, so it's likely targeting 16.456. So yesterday we were talking about where price would likely stall, but that's because we were using a profile that existed then. That all changed this morning, really started changing last night when this new profile started forming. Again, I won't have confirmation of this until tomorrow, but either way, price is up above where that counter trend rally should have ended. But again, that profile went away. That was about the 16,137 ish type area. Now price should go target the top of that profile, 16,456. The Dow. 35,900 and the Russell 2000, 2282. What happens if price closes above those levels? Then we continue to head higher and we start taking a look at the weekly profiles. Okay, let's go look at the weekly profiles. Here, we'll just put up the weeklies. In the case of the ES Mini, you're looking at 4740. In the case of the NQ, it's already above the top of its weekly profile. So if you close above the top of its daily profile, it doesn't have any resistance other than 
the NQ, does have a roads mint indicator top. It was a, that was formed right here on the day of November 22nd when it generated that bearish engulfing candle. I know it's hard to see here when you take a look at a bar chart. That's why we like to use candle charts out there. But nonetheless, if price takes out that high, then we're headed up to the 17,170. Now, each of these equity future contracts for their daily time frame have topping patterns out there. So if the highs get taken out, that's likely a signal to us that we move higher through the end of the year, perhaps beyond that as well. If we take a look at the Dow, right now the Dow is trading into the resistance zone. The resistance, you don't see that, oh, son of a gun, sorry about that. Oh, man, sorry, 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 I wasn't paying attention. Sorry about that. Let's do this here. Let's go back. I want you guys to take a look at it. So that was my fault. Uh, I've got so many screens out here. Sometimes I uh, forget to uh, forget to change them over. Sorry there, Bill and Boston Dan. But in any event here, so you can see those new profiles, or you can see the profile levels of where price is likely targeting. If this is just a counter trend move, because each of these equity future contracts have topping patterns in there, and that's a possibility, slight possibility, but it's a possibility out there. Uh, then, well, then we head back towards the bottom of the profiles. But we'll have to take things one step at a time. So I was back to the weekly charts out here. The weekly I was referring, I was mentioning the NQ doesn't have a top of a profile it's already above the top of the profile in the nq and so if it can take out its all-time high 17170 would be the likely next target the dow russell 2000 they both are trading in resistance as well in the case of the dow it's 35833 to 36446 you close about 36446 again confirmation of a move higher into the end of the year we don't have that confirmation just yet just want to make sure you know that and then the russell 2000 2317 is the top of the weekly profile of course you can see the consolidation that it was trading in that it broke out of then it broke down and uh, so we're not sure what we're gonna do with that consolidation pattern just yet but 2317 as a weekly target for the uh, Russell 2000 now back to those 30 minute charts even though Bill good question was that what I intended to show And the answer uh, is was uh, no but I meant to go show that I just did it in the wrong order so now if we go take a look at what's going on in the short term time frame short term time frame may give us different information than the daily charts which we're looking at here and the short-term information could be it could get to a TD9 count but with price pulling back right now that may not be the case so the I don't see the only pattern that I have out here that has a valid top at this stage as of 1:13 in the afternoon is Russell 2000 that's on your right side so watch the Russell 2000 for potential clues as to what the rest of the market may do 22 let me expand this up here I can't really read it that well I don't know that expanding it's going to help me read it. Yeah, 2257 is the level to watch inside the Russell 2000. What happens if price closes below that for two consecutive bars? That would signal you could pull all the way back to its breakout level. That's all the way down to 2211. Not making that call just yet, but you've got the parameters to watch and observe. Of course, you'd be if price breaks through that bottom of that daily profile, you still want to look for any kind of bottoming signal that could form on its way down to the breakout area of 2211. So to a certain extent, we've covered the markets. Now nah, we haven't really covered the markets. We've got to go take a look at some other things. What are those other things? Perhaps the most important thing out here with regard to today's action is what's the spot volatility is going to do? So let's go take a look at it and let's go take a look at this chart specifically. So you've had the uh, you've had the spot volatility X, by the way, uh, uh, if we had Garo on the phone, he'd say, hey, Stevie, the bar, the dots, the uh, parabolic star dots have changed. And that says it wants to move lower. And I would say, Garo, you're absolutely right. Now, move lower to where? Now, I would have used a different tool. My tool here is the uh, Bollinger Bands so using the 50 to 1 setting and the top Bollinger Band at 2363. So we price closes below that. That gives us a high probability. How high? Significantly high. That price would go target 2033, the 50 day exponential moving average. Oh, charts again. Yikes. I'll put this up on the screen. We'll come back to this when we come back from the break. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So we got that spot volatility index uh, chart up on our screen right now. Those blue dots on the top panel, those are the parabolic SAR dots that uh, our, uh, our friend uh, Garo uses out in California. Uh, but here what I'm using, uh, if, in addition to having those out there, is the uh, Bollinger Bands. Those are the red lines out there. Now, once price, if price closes today below 2363, odds favor it will. Then that says we're going to go back to the 50-day exponential moving average, 2033. There was a question, I believe, by JB in the uh, den, uh, you know, in essence asking about, what was it, uh, JB? Um, is this a bull trap? Is this a bear trap? What kind of trap is this? Here, I'm going to just really simplify things uh, for you. What you really want to watch for next is the 50-day uh, exponential moving average, 2033. Now, as long as spot volatility remains above that level, then any surprises will see a swift move to the downside inside the S&P 500. That's not really, and even though it's above the 50 day right now, it's off of its highs, it's back into the Bollinger Band. Odds favor, and I'm telling you, there's significant odds that we're going to get back to the 50 day exponential moving average, 2033. To answer your question, JB, about the bull trap, bear trap, any kind of trap, look, if the spot volatility closes below the 50 day, it doesn't have to, I'm not talking about doing it today, uh, but if it does close below the 50 day, 2033, that then sends a signal that price should go down to the lower. Bollinger Band reading. And that would get us down to $15 in the 24 cent area or thereabouts. And that will go ahead. And that would really suggest to Stevie that we likely take out the all time highs out there for the S&P and then we move higher into the end of the year. But with regard to the so called trap stuff, now I'm going to see if I can do this here pretty uh, efficiently, which means I'm going to change screens. And this time I'm really going to change screens out here. I would mentioned this earlier, but I just simply want to go back to it. And that back to it is that each of the equity future contracts still have valid topping patterns. And not until those get taken out, the ES Mini, it's both a Rhodes Momentum Indicator top as well as a TD9 count. 
So price needs to take out those all-time highs, and if it does that, then we likely move higher through the end of the year. The NQ has a Rhodes Mintum Indicator Top, that bearish engulfing candle, where my curse is at. The Dow Equity Future Contract, a TD9 count. Uh, the Dow and the Russell, two, the Russell 2000 is a sell the D point. Um, they're both below their daily profiles, as we talked about. The next move, if they can get above those, would be the areas where they broke down from. Those are the green horizontal line, 36, 105 in the Dow. Equity future contract, Russell 2000, would be 2405.30 out there. So, uh, look, this is still somewhat of a uh, – so you still got those tops. And not until those tops get taken out of – get taken out, uh, will be all clear to the upside. So I hope that helps you. Really try to answer your question, JB. Let me know if I did or I didn't. But really, the focus should be with regard to, in my opinion, with regard to uh, interpreting the markets out here. Really, we're down to profile levels. We're down to that spot volatility index. There's no reason for us to um, muck it up, so to speak, by adding too much information in there. So I do hope that that helps. Let's go to our first and only question that we've got at the moment. And that is from uh, Dan from uh, Boston. He wants to take a look at one of his favorite instruments. Oh, do I, I do see another one came in, but a couple more by email. And that is Cassava Sciences. Uh, that is S-A-V-A. That's what we've got up on the screen right now. And uh, Dan, yes, uh, it did test and reject a, a key swing point. That was a swing point from November 11th. It had 3.5 million shares. It tested it and it rejected it yesterday with volume of 1.7 million shares. So that's a sign of a bottom. There's no A to B equals CD pattern. There's no other pattern that I have out here, Dan, other than price pulling back to support. Yes, it's going to create or appears that it will create a three river morning star pattern. That's the combination of, in this case here, three candles. That's why it's called it a three river. I would call it a four river if we had the fourth candle out there. And that's the December 3rd, the December 6th, and then today's candle session out there. Does that mean anything? Dan, it means more to me when it is at the completion of a pattern. So is this a completion of a pattern testing a swing point on light volume? I'm going to uh, go with the answer yes. Now, the next level of resistance in this for Cassava Sciences is its ability to close above the bottom of its daily profile. The bottom of its daily profile is 47.96. You're at 48.49. So if price closes below that, where should price head to next? Price should head to 51.21. 51.21 is the center of its bullish structured weekly profile. If price can close above 51.21, then you're looking to move up to the 65.31 level out there. So is this a uh, is this a good um, bet or a good reward risk out here? I'd have to say the answer is yes. But let's go look at the other. Let's go look at the white background charts. Just see if there's anything else that we can see out here to assist us. And boom, voila, there is. So. We got to come back. So you've got the valid bottom at the breakout level of 43.11. My recollection, I pointed that out a, a while ago. So how cool price came back to the breakout area. Dan, the issue that we've got right now is at 50.36. And that is Stevie's red line, that oscillator and change line. So if Cassava Sciences can close above 50.35, you're at 48.37, then I think it has the all clear. Now, not that, it does, not that it doesn't have some battles, it does. But the real important battle, I would say, is that red oscillator and change line. It has acted as resistance. And uh, now that doesn't mean it's going to break out support, but it just simply won't give you the all clear sign to move higher. If price does close above it, then we've got that weekly profile to look at. And then back to the daily, if you can take out the center of the weekly and so on and so forth. You do like that uh, price has held the bottom of its bullish structured weekly profile. So we like that. And on the monthly basis, um, you'd sure like to see this close about 5280 to get back to its merry ways out there. So, Dan, that's what I see when I take a look at Cassava Sciences. I hope that uh, that helps you out. And uh, thanks so much for the question out there. So the next question um, is coming from, let me see here. Boy, I got a slew of uh, just junk. It is amazing how much junk email I get out here. Oh, we've got Garo on the line. Now, that is a uh, treat. So, uh, Garo, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? I'm very good. How about you, sir? I'm doing well. Thanks so much for asking. I am going to uh, pull up my Garo set of charts. And while I'm doing that, <laughs> why don't you uh, express to, to us what it is you're looking at and how I can best help you? Yeah. Uh, again, we go back to LABU. Uh, okay. LBU, uh, today it hit that if you tr look at the daily chart, you will see that the uh, uh, today it hit the, uh, uh, the upper dot and the dot is down. It hit on uh, $40 dollars and 85 cents. Of course, now it's 40.86. Uh, you don't see that dot. 
uh, that candle al- already covered that dot already. But, yes. So the dot is all the way at the bottom. So that to me, it sounds that uh, this is going to be bull. The trend is changed, and this is going to go up all the way to fifty-one dollars and change to its fifty-day um, moving average. Uh, now um, here, yesterday, it gave me a, a, a long hammer, red hammer. Yes. Uh, what, what what is that? What kind of uh, what kind of candle is that? So yesterday was actually a doji. And the reason it was a doji, I'm just going to pull up, uh, spread out the daily chart here just a tad. The reason why yesterday was a doji versus a hammer is it just has too much of an upper shadow out there. But that's okay, kind of like uh, Cassava Sciences that uh, Dan from Boston and I were looking at. This will turn into or should turn into a Three River Morningstar pattern. So you do have the bullish signal out there at the completion of the 1 to 1.272 or maybe the 1 to 1.618, A to B equals CD. So it does give us a, what I refer to as a buy the D point. It's uh, met your requirements uh, to take out the parabolic SAR dot. And then on the 120 minute chart, you've got your five uh, crossover of the uh, 21 out here. But price is gonna, it's got some resistance. So you, you're trading into the battleground and girl, I'm gonna ask you to hold through this breakout here. We're about to go to one and we'll come back and we'll take a look at LABU. That's the direction share ETF for the biotech bull, the three X version. We'll be right back with Garo. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at ticker symbol LABU. That's the Direction Shares ETF uh, for the S&P 500. It's the three-time uh, biotech uh, bull out here. And, uh, Garo, before the uh, break, um, when I pulled up the LABU chart, it showed a, a new daily profile. Um, what I did then was I went over to the – this is a 3X – uh, version. I went over to the 1X uh, version of the e – that's not really an equal weight, I don't think, is it? Um, oh, maybe it is. It says the XBI is equal weight, which is fine. I just simply went over to the underlying instrument, and it did not have new profiles. Of course, I came back to LABU, and those disappeared. So the only real battle that you've got – and the reason I wanted to do that is because it's really the 1X that provides me, at least, with better information out there. Um, I don't need to go to that chart right now since the profile is not an issue. Uh, we've got really, in essence, the same pattern patterns out here. The LABU has got a TD9 count. It's got to buy the D point. And what you really would like to see this do today, girl, is close above 4015. 4015 is that oscillator and change line. It is red. If you close above a red oscillator and change line, it suggests there's more retracement. Uh, that more retracement should be able to take us up to $50.69. That's a TD9 count breakdown level. That's for the uh, daily time frame out here. I'm going to take a quick peek at the weekly chart. The weekly chart says you've got a little battle at 4614. That's the weekly oscillator and change line. The monthly chart, when we take a look at it, I don't really have anything here to report back to you on. So on the daily, everything looks pretty good to me and we should see price continue to move higher as long as price closes above 4016. Any questions so far about the charts that we've taken a look at? No, you're absolutely right on, on LABU, uh, 60 minute and 120 minute. It, it shows that it's the trend is changing upwards, but uh, still at 60 minutes, the five day moving average has not crossed uh, the 21 days yet. Ah, okay. So you have to hold to your horses at this time. But if you go on a on a weekly chart on XBI on a weekly chart, you see that uh, the the yesterday uh, the the low of that uh, it hit that hundred six dollars and ninety two cents. It hit the twenty one day uh, exponential. Okay. Uh, but in, uh, in LABU you don't see that. Yes. Uh, there is no uh, the 200-day moving average. The 200-day is way above that. Right, you right, see? right, right, right. Uh, uh, so, uh, the, to me, uh, to me, that is that is something that uh, this is going to bounce from here. Uh, it's not going to go up to 52 right away overnight. It's going to go in time, uh, but uh, it, 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 to me, it is a, a change of trend. That that's what I'm concerned about. Sure. So, okay. So now I just put up the XBI again, and that yes. profile that I was concerned about repopulated. So and this is a bearish structured profile. And, and I agree with everything that you said, Garo. And I would, even though you're trading LABU, you've really got to keep an eye on XBI. I just believe that it provides yes. us with the more clear information. So right now, when I take a look at XBI, the resistance zone is between 115.09, even though we're trading above it, between 115.09 and 117.81. It would be closing above 117.81 that would give us that change in trend signal out uh -huh. there. So that's, that's the, and I don't have any idea to know whether it will or won't. You've got the nice valid bottoming patterns out here. I know that you're waiting for the uh, crossovers on the shorter term time frames out here, but it does look like it has a bottom. So just continue, obviously, with, with uh, of course, you don't need me to tell you this. You're going to do that anyways, which is continue with your beautiful system out here. But I show a bottom in this as well. And, and at least this helps us to also understand where the battleground is. That's at 117.81. If you uh, if you close above of that then you're off to the super bowl yes sir yes sir, All yes, sir. All right. thank you so much thank you hey, i appreciate it thank you you bet always good to hear from you garo thanks so much for a call we'll look forward to speaking to you again that was garo in california um steve can you take a look at snap that's coming from snp and the answer is absolutely so snap let's go see what this is doing and while uh, the black charts are populating we'll get to that white background chart that is snap so you've got snap right now um that is trading into its bearish structure daily profile resistance zone that zone is between 5074 and 52 
52.38. Uh, what happens if price can close above 52.38? Well, Stevie likes to say there's nothing more bullish than a failed bearish pattern. And that would be a bearish pattern. If you really close above 52.38, what it means is that price should go target 58.55. And 58.55 is the center of its bearish uh, monthly profile out there. That's the only other profile that would come into play at this stage here. So let's go look at Snap's white background charts, see what other information we have out here. And voila, boom, bang. Yesterday, we've got TD9 count bottom. We have a, yesterday was a roads momentum indicator bottom, got follow through today. So price is trading into that resistance zone, S&P. If price can clear 52.38, 54.77 will be the next price target. And if price can clear 54.77, even though you've got that big gap to the downside, uh, that should set the change in trend. And that change in trend says over time, we get up to 77.52. On a weekly basis out here, what does DV have? I don't have an A to B equals CD to the downside, but you could form bar number eight of a TD9 count. That seems logical. The problem's gonna be, I don't think you get to bar number nine if this continues to move higher, because the close would have to be below the close of bar number five, and that's at 51.32. You're at 51.29 as we speak right now. So it doesn't look like the weekly at this stage of the game will give you that uh, confirmed bottom signal out there, but the daily most certainly has. You should get a move to either 52.38 and above that 54.77. So hope that helps you out with regard to what you were looking for with regard to snap, crackle, and pop out there. I believe we've got another question that's coming by email. So let me just check that out here real quickly. And uh, we do, and that's from Hector and the fuel injectors. And Hector wants to take a look at uh, Marvell, MRVL, MRVL. I think I blew the call on that one. Uh, meaning that we were taking a look at this before earnings and uh, I didn't see where this would gap up and it gapped up in a big way and it continues to move continues to move higher. So uh, Hector says happy taco two for Tuesday, Marvel and O-N. Can you please work up an A to B equals CD? Um, so the A to B equals CD pattern that I would really work up is really coming from the long-term charts out here just to get rid of the noise. And that's on the monthly. So the low would be the March 2020 level. That's your A point. The B point would be January 2021. The C point down here at the uh, March of 2021. So your next price projectionary on the longer term should take you up into the 101.43 level. But let's take a look at, did I do that? I didn't do that. I can't believe I didn't do that. I did not do the MRVL. So let me get that going. Let me also type in ON since that's another instrument you wanted to take a look at. Let me get that going. On the daily time frame. I'll pull this chart over here momentarily. I don't see any kind of a topping signal at all. Oh, man, I gotta wait for this other chart to, what the heck's going on? Oh no. That, let me see what happens here. Okay, good. So let me expand this out here. So we're getting to the white background charts. No topping, you do have wave number seven, letter G out there. So just as be careful, but you have to have a lower high in order to confirm that. As a top, you were asking for what the uh, oscillator unchanged on a daily basis, 79.87 is the uh, number. You're also asking about on ON and you wanted to know what its oscillator unchanged line level was. So let me get that going here, see if we can do this before the break, which is in just another uh, about uh, six seconds out there. Okay, so let's take a look at ON. What is ON out here? That is uh, on semiconductor trading above the top of its daily profile. So that looks pretty good. You wanted the oscillator and change line. You've got it. 64.88. And on the daily basis, this looks bullish out here. Thanks so much for writing in, Hector. And we'll look forward to your next email. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the 
best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Let's go back out to California. This time, let's speak with Brent. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? Oh, life is good, Steve. How's everything for you? Very good. Uh, thank you for asking. And uh, tell me what you wanted to look at or, or how I can help you. I just had one quick story I wanted to relate because I heard you talking about oh, looking over the edge yesterday. Yes. That was part of your yes, yes, yes. yesterday. And uh, <laughs> it's probably going back, this is like 40 years ago, my oldest brother was uh, climbing the face of Half Dome in Yosemite. Okay. And I went up around the backside, there's a cable walk, you can go up the backside of it. Yes. And uh, if you're looking at Half Dome, you've seen pictures of it, there's there, it's the very top, it's like an outcropping, they call it the visor. Yes. And then if you're actually on top, there's an area that's like they call the diving board. Okay. You can go crawl out onto. Yeah. And look down. I think I've like seen a picture of that. It's pretty, pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I know that I have seen a picture of the uh, of the diving board. I know that I've I've seen that. I, I I've done it a few times where I, and I can't remember where I was last when I had walked towards really close to the edge. You know, and if you fell, you were you know it was instant death out there. But I just remember just that, uh, uh, just the. Uh, uh, the acceleration of emotions that just kind of flew through the body, so to speak, which was basically said, hey, Steve-O, uh, back away. <laughs> yeah, so, well, definitely anybody even just kicked a little rock or anything behind you. you know, <laughs> exactly. It was, uh, yeah, a, little, it, it, a little unnerving, but it was, it was a pretty cool thing to do, and I, I can definitely look back on it. Yeah, you know, we, you, we, we, typically, we, typically, we typically do those things when we are younger, like about 40 years ago yeah. or so. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, I uh, uh, so the very first time that I went whitewater rafting, 
It was uh, in uh, in West Virginia. I lived in, in the Detroit area, and it was on the uh, the Gauley River and the New River. And I uh, went with a, a good buddy of mine. And uh, uh, Ed and I, we just we'd never seen, you know, we just in our mind we had seen Whitewater Rapids, so to speak. I mean, this this goes back like forty plus years ago too, um, more than forty years ago. And in any event, we, uh, we, we, we get out to the facility, we go find a, a sports store, and uh, we're looking to go buy some big inner tubes. We figure we'll get to, even though we had reservations to go on Whitewater Rep, we said, hey, let's go do some of these, uh, 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 you know, some of these areas uh, on an inner tube. And so we're in there, and uh, the guys ask us, well, what are, you, what are you buying the inner tubes for? We said, well, we want to go down the new river. <laughs> and he looked at us, he said, wait, instant death. What are you talking about? You want to go down the river? So he said, "I'm going to send you." So he said, "You're not buying inner tube from me. I'm going to send you to the spot during the, uh, on the New River where it might be the most calm, and then you come back. And, and if you really want to, you know," he said, "There are people who've done it, but most of the people who do try it have died out there. So um, I, I never, I never did do that. But whitewater rafting is a blast. Have you ever done some whitewater rafting? I never have. Done a lot of surfing, a lot of snow skiing, water skiing." And a lot of other sports, but no, I never have it. It looks fun. Definitely. Yeah, for the people that live in the Northeast area, the Gauley River is the is the coolest because it's relatively short in duration. And what I mean by that is you, you don't have lots of pools that you're floating through. I mean, it's class four, class five rapids, one after another. It's only a couple times during the year that you can really uh, go down the Gauley River out there uh, when they open up the, uh, the, the dam, so to speak. But it, it is a blast uh, to do. But you don't really want to get thrown overboard because you get sucked into some of those holes and you know you'll never come out but anyway we don't want to talk necessarily just about you know our extracurricular activities out here we want to talk about the market so how can i help you well i was hoping you could do for me steve is bring up the weekly charts uh the consolidation patterns and to see where we're at with the different movement we've had over the last you know couple of weeks here we've had you know a decent down move now we're having this up move where we are are we above it or are we inside of it are we out of it and then what i want to see where we're at with that yeah, so this is the set of charts here that Brent is is asking about. And um, in the case of the NQ and the ES, it's relatively clear. And that relatively clear says, you know, we still have the potential to go at least target the top of the consolidation breakout level. The NQ last week, um, and really yesterday and on Friday, came back to test the consolidation breakout level which was at approximately the 15,661 area. So the NQ is very clear, but the NQ does have a top, and that's from the candle session on November 22nd. That high out there is 16,767. Uh, in 16,928, you know, was the initial price target. Uh, so the, the NQ, it's very clear. The ES pulled back, it got inside it, closed back inside the consolidation for one day, then closed above it. So I consider that to be just a test of the consolidation level. And this suggests that price could get to the 48.23, but it too has a top of the trading session of November 22nd out there. And not until the market's clear that November 22nd top, will I have really clear indication as to what the intent is. Now, the intent of the ES and NQ may just to be complete that consolidation pattern. Um, you know, but maybe it's more than maybe it's more than that. The Russell 2000, uh, Brent, really dipped back inside the consolidation, and I'm not really sure how to treat this at this stage here. Uh, in fact, I probably will just get rid of the consolidation pattern. Uh, and you could almost make the case that that is the situation with the uh, Dow as well, because you know that the typically when you break out of a consolidation market, we'll pull back and test it very much like the NQ and the ES did. Not necessarily test it and then get back inside it for several days. So I just think there's maybe different patterns in the Dow and the Russell. That makes sense? Yeah, no, it's really helpful to see it visually when you put the yeah. charts up. That, that's what I was hoping to see. I, I'm still just not convinced that, uh, that the highs are going to get taken out. Um, and, you know, we'll just have to watch the profile levels, the resistance areas on the uh, daily time frame out here. And in the case of the NQ, that happens to be 16,456. You close above that, then we probably do go back and at least test the highs. In the uh, ES Mini, it's got a little bit more of a battle, and that's at both 47.17 and 47.40. And then the uh, Dow would be the 35,900 level. If price can clear that, it does have some additional weekly profile resistance and that's up at the 36446 area so i'm not i'm not convinced that we're going to take out the highs um i'm not unconvinced but i just uh i'm, I'm cautious 
Uh, and I would especially, I'm especially cautious still while that spot volatility index remains above the 50 day. I know price should go target at 2032. I just need to see what happens when price gets down there. Right now, the setup looks like price, the, the, the uh, VIX is going to get to the 2032 level at the same time that each of these uh, daily profiles are being tested. So that could really be the setup of a storm of a move lower. You know what I mean? No, absolutely. And I appreciate you providing that every day for us to sure. keep an eye on these different levels. So that's, that's very helpful. Yeah, don't know other, any other way to uh, track these markets. You know, it's so helpful for us to understand where the buyers and sellers are. I mean, if we go back and take a look at the, uh, you know, we were looking at the consolidation chart. There's another one, this one here. And I mean, just how helpful is knowing where those weekly profiles are? Um, you know, 4504 tested and rejected uh, last week inside the ES Mini. It held. That was part of the looking over the edge. The markets looked over the edge. The ES Mini did. The Russell 2000 did. The Dow did. And it said, hey, I'm not jumping. Um, and so there's a possibility we do go test those highs, maybe take them out. I'm just not convinced just yet. So I hope that helps you out, Brent. It does very much, Steve. You have a wonderful week, a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. That sounds great. That was Brent in Martinez, California. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We've got the Dow trading up 528, the S&P 99, the NASDAQ 100, 486. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Welcome back, folks. So uh, we've got a, one question from Dennis who wants to take a look at the QQQ forecast. Dennis, I'm just showing you the NQ here, the uh, forecast from a, you wanted the monthly forecast. I've got really the weekly up here with the A to B equals CD. That should take us to 17,170. That doesn't happen unless we take out those all-time highs. So I'd be cautious there. There was somebody in the den who wanted to go short the Qs. Don't go short the Qs until the NQ gets up to 16,456. I realize that could happen overnight and then give it up and move lower out there. But uh, that's really where the sellers are at. We're at 16,336, so I would not take that short. Now, now, if you're talking about intraday, that's a whole different set of uh, charts out there to look at. Uh, we had a question that came in here from uh, John who wanted to do, who went long Rivian, uh, R-I-V-N, and that is a good move out there. I've been watching this myself, and now we can see that yesterday was a Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom. Uh, that's where prices moved lower, doing with rest of, less relative energy. You've got the uh, bullish uh, reversal candle now, and a Rivian should go at least a tag the uh, most recent swing point that's up at the 126.75 level but i do like your entry into that i wish i had seen that but i'm going to consider that myself as, for myself as well uh so thank you for the request out there uh john and uh, i haven't read the full question because i only have you know like a minute here i'm trying to get to everything there's a request from rich to take a look at d-o-c-n I know you wanted to look at two, but there's no way I'm going to be able to get those in. But let's try to take a look at uh, DocuSign. I think this is DocuSign, D-O-C, and you've got. So that's not DocuSign. That is that is Di Digital Ocean out here. So Digital Ocean, um, you know, it found support at the bottom of its weekly profile. Let me see if I can pull this up quickly here, D-O-C-N on my other charts. So a lot, key level of support has held. Your next level of resistance is gonna be 9803. That's the bottom of its daily profile. As far as did this form a bottom, it may have, but does it form one of my bottoms? I don't see it just yet on the daily time frame. So at this stage here, I'll call it just a counter trend rally unless price close above 101.96 out there. And that is on ticker symbol D-O-C-N. Folks, thanks so much for being here today. Stay tuned for two more great hours. Your favorite polar bear, David White. He's up next after that. You've got Tom O'Brien. He'll take us on home. I'll be back with you tomorrow on Wednesday at one o'clock sharp. On Thursday morning, we're going to record the show from eight to nine. And on Friday, I won't be able to be here. But uh, so tomorrow, the normal time. Have a great Tuesday.